Well, it's the 1st of September and the Halloween season will be here soon enough, but Rhode Island's longest running attractions won't be around this year. NBC 10's Aaron Coogan joins us live in the studio tonight with why organizers say they're pulling the plug on Cranston's haunted labyrinth. Aaron. Yeah, well, Sam, not only was this a popular Halloween tradition for 39 years, it was a major fundraiser for the Rejoice in Hope Youth Center. But longtime volunteers say changes within the Diocese of Providence has led them to end the labyrinth. It's always painful when something you love and you believe in is in a different direction. Uh, I will always feel like there's room for these sorts of experiences. An unexpected announcement from one of New England's oldest and most beloved Halloween attractions. The diocese uh, approached us and um, Due to changes that they have had, they felt that the uh, labyrinth wasn't really fitting in with that. Organizers with the Haunted Labyrinth taking to Facebook to thank patrons for 39 years of scares. We have stories of uh, people that have been there when they were teenagers and then their children un uh, had come in and participated in it. Long becoming tradition for families of both volunteers and attendees. The twist and turn maze of scares left an impression on the hearts of generations. I'm 33 years old. I've been doing this since I was 16. It was a cornerstone of my life and uh, I don't know where I'd be without it. Those behind the haunted labyrinth say they tried for months to save the beloved attraction. Could we move it to another location? Um, was there another staff person that would be willing to take it on? But with each passing day drawing closer to Halloween, they say the night's public announcement was inevitable. You always saw the facade go up in front in August. So we knew that people would probably start asking the questions around this time. Where's the labyrinth? Where's the labyrinth? And so we said this would probably, this is the best time to put it out there and let everybody know. Now, volunteers tell me they hope to one day reinstate the haunt. We reached out to the Diocese of Providence for comment, but on a Sunday night, they may not have seen our message. Live in studio, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.